Yo, if you think werewolf are better than vampires, let me hear you make So tell me, what went down at the cellar last night? Here's what happened. I'm there, I'm taping my first hour, you know, it's my big night, and they did not have me on the schedule, apparently. Also, they did not know me, ever heard of me. Open Anthony, first of all, thanks for having me. So you're a stand-up comedian? Yo, yeah. you could say that. You know, I'm just a, uh, well, you know, I, I could be in films, I suppose, you know, if anyone wanted to do uh, a movie with me, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, I'll, I'll sign the paper today if someone puts it in front of me. I'll do, I'll do a movie. Everyone comes up to me. When's your, when's the big, uh, when can we see you on the big screen, the silver screen? Um, any, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. There's two things I'm always ready to do. Sex and being a feature film. And what sort of things do you talk about in your act? Uh, I, talk, I talk about a lot of stuff in my act. I talk about werewolves. Uh, being better than vampires. I talk about, well, it's mostly werewolves. Yeah, <laughs> if I'm being honest, you know. Well, thank you, Wolfboy. That's all for today. All right, thank, thanks, guys. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Unbelievable, isn't it? Can you believe that before I started brainwashing and torturing him, that he was just your normal Harvard student? He was a Harvard student? Yep. I was teaching a psychology seminar. I was a teacher. And Wolf Boy, or Joshua as he was then known, was the only student to sign up. And the purpose of this seminar was through the power of suggestion, psychedelic drugs, and sensory deprivation tanks that I could take a normal, average Harvard student and turn him into a stand-up comedian who was obsessed with werewolves. There you go. Today is September 4th, 2016. This is Professor McCormick, and this is our first session. Please go ahead and state your name and what you do. My name is Joshua Bobo. I'm a sophomore at Harvard. So, tell me, Joshua, what's a typical day as a Harvard student? Well, every day I wake up, drink a coffee, then I run to the mess hall to get me a Danish. Then I run to class. I run, 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 like an ostrich. You know those big uh, fucking birds? <laughs> uh, then I go to the library. I love Hardy Boy books. Sometimes I'll get four or five books and stack them. You know, just your average Harvard stuff. Also, you gotta stay hydrated or else you'll barf. Do you like stand-up comedy? Uh, I like Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction fucking rules, man! <laughs> yeah, but what about werewolves? Uh, hey old man, last time I checked, ain't no werewolves in Pulp Fiction. Okay, thanks Joshua. Now let's get you in the sensory deprivation tank. October 1st, 2016. Will you please state your name and what you do? My name is Joshua Bobo. I'm a sophomore at Harvard. I'm also an aspiring stand-up comedian. You like werewolves, Joshua? Yeah, they're pretty cool. I actually checked out a couple of those werewolf movies you recommended from the library, and I gotta say, some of them were pretty badass. Very, very good. Now let's get you in the tank. We'll shoot now for three hours this time. November 15th, 2016. Will you please state your name and what you do? Joshua Bobo, I'm a stand-up comedian. Are you a student at Harvard? Nope, just a comedian. Also, my hobby is werewolves. Hit the tank! 
Hit the tank. Six hours. Six hours. December 9th, 2016. Will you please state your name and what you do? My name is Wolfboy Bobo. I'm a stand-up comedian. I like werewolves. Vampires are fucking weak. The transformation is complete. We're very proud of you. We did it. For every good job. Well, there you have it. In just under four months, I took a Harvard boy and I turned him into a wolf boy. It's fucking unbelievable, isn't it? It's fucking unbelievable, right? So you're a Harvard professor. <clears throat> yes, that's correct. Well, uh, I ought to get going. Uh, I have pages to... I gotta, you know, and uh, you know, all things that a professor does. But before I leave, I want to introduce to you a good friend of mine, Miss Joan Rivers. Joan! Oh, look Joan! Who it is. The nutty professor. Oh, oh, come on, be real with me. Where did you get your degree? Off of a cereal box? $2.99 and a coupon? Good oh, one, Joan. <laughs> oh, grow up, grow up. Your poor mother had her hands full. My mother? <laughs> That's a good one, Joan. I love you, Professor. I love you. Look, let me give you a big hug. A big smooch. Love making you laugh. Thank you. I adore you. Yes, I do. You're my kind of guy. You have a heartbeat. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can't wait to get out of here so I can watch fight videos on my Microsoft Surface tablet. Came running to the wolf boy, howling at the moon. Oh, yeah.